Hi, this is Halal. In this video, we will discuss about the constrainer optimization uh, with Lagrange's multiplier. Uh, so, we will see what is constrainer optimization. Now, constrainer optimization means finding out best possible values of certain variables in presence of some certain restrictions. Now, finding out the best possible values means the optimizing the values and in presence of some restrictions means the constrained or with some constraints that may, it can be anything like um, what can say maximization of the satisfaction that is maximization of sets uh, utility or satisfaction utility subject to that is subject to the budget constraint budget constraint Now this can be one function and this can be another function. This can be utility function and this is the budget function here. Or we have to maximize the utility. So, but there are some constraints here. The uh, constraint is the income that is budget. Similarly, it can be uh, like maximization of profit, maximization of profit by a firm. So here the constraint will be his given limited capacity limited production capacity production capacity so this means we have to maximize the profit mm, and here there are given some uh, restrictions that is the limited production capacity so we will uh, see how to derive the Lagrange's multiplier here. For example, if we have a function that is z is equal to f of x, y. Now, this can be any, it can be a utility function, it can be a profit function. Now, with this, we have some sort of constraints that means well, let us say we have the constraints such as x plus y is equal to c. So if it were it were a utility function, so this is the budget function here. Sorry, budget constraint here. So this is called objective function, and this is the constraint part. Constraint. Okay. Now, we are given the objective function and with this are the constraints given here. Now, how will we form the language's multiplier here? First of all, we will set the first step is set the constraint equal to zero. Set constraint equal to zero. First of all, we will set this constraint equal to zero. Now, for example, we solve this, it will become c minus x minus y is equal to zero. So, the first uh, step is to set the constraint equal to zero. The second one is multiply it by lambda. So, we will multiply this uh, this constraint by lambda. So, this will become lambda times c minus x minus y. Now, the third step is we will add this term with the given objective function to get the Lagrange's multiplier. So, I will write uh, adding adding it to the objective function. This is the setup third to get the leg, uh, leg ranges function. Now, we can write this that is z is equal to f of x y. Now, we have the third variable here that is lambda. So, we write this as function of the three variables that is equal to. Now, we have to add this with the objective function. Our objective function is f of x y. So, I will write f of x y plus lambda times c minus x minus y. 
So this is our Lagrange's function. Now, after that, we will partially to get the value of x, y, and lambda, as we have uh, uh, earlier discussed that we have to use the we have to get the optimum values, best possible values. So the best possible values of x, y, and lambda, we have to find that. We will find this by differentiating partially this Lagrange's function with respect to x, y, and lambda, and set them equal to zero. So we will partially differentiate this equation. So partially differentiate with respect to x, y, and z, and set them, set them equal to zero. So this will become we will partially differentiate this uh, Lagrange's function. So that means f of x, x, y, and lambda. Now this means partially differentiating this Lagrange's function with respect to x, and after that we will set it equal to zero. Similarly, partially differentiating this with respect to y. That is f of y, x, y, and lambda and set it equal to 0 and similarly f of lambda that is x y and lambda is equal to 0 so we are uh, we are here with the three equations when we will solve these three equations we will get the value of x y and lambda so after that we will solve these three equations to get solving them for x, y, and lambda. So, we will solve these three equations and get the value of x, y, and lambda. Now, we have to see what does this lambda signify. Now, this Lagrange's multiplier tells us this uh, lambda signifies the marginal marginal change in the objective function caused by the one unit change in the constant of the constraint that means this the value of lambda says us if this is our objective function it says how much this objective function will change when there is change in this constant of this constraint that is if this is f of x y this is this is our objective function and x plus y is equal to c now this lambda when we will uh, solve this this lambda will tell us the marginal change in this function caused by the change in this constant of this conus trend so this lambda is also called language multiplier is also called shadow price shadow price okay 